Hello everyone, today we are checking out Rin Penrose Golden Age. Now this is a recommendation that has been long overdue. We are checking out a VTuber from Idol EN. I am not familiar with this company or this VTuber at all, so this is my first exposure to them and I'm excited to check this out. Uh, I really don't have anything to say about uh, this VTuber because this is all new to me. So. Let's just jump right into things in three, two, one, play. Sound out the song of splendor, for all this world to hear. Our flight flies high because our renaissance begins right here. Okay. Interesting. So her projection is a... Uh, fairly low i wouldn't say a mid-tone but more towards a bass tone and we've got this beautiful beautiful drum set in the mix i love those drums let's go back a bit those are like marching band drums and i feel like they're supposed to be marching band drums just from the entire aesthetic of this introductory sequence here Listen to those toms, the way those acoustics are for the drum set, that sounds like a real drum set that's being recorded. I don't think that's digital, and that sounds beautiful. Right nice. And as she's sustaining that note, you've got this tempo boost with some digital effects being introduced here. I could be wrong about this, but she definitely has an... It definitely sounds to me like she has an accent, which is interestingly affecting the way she sustains her notes. Because normally, you, you kind of have a lift at the end of a sustain. You'll have a lift and usually like an exhalation uh, that, that kind of supports that lift. But when she sustains her notes, it feels like she's coming down at the end of her note. When she's uh, exhaling, it feels like she's exhaling and dropping. Whereas most people, it feels like they exhale and then they intake air and kind of exhale a bit and take air and they go up in pitch just a touch. Whereas she seems to go down in pitch just a touch, which I feel from what I'm hearing sounds like something from her accent. I don't know what accent it is. I'm not familiar with her. Her voice what ends with this endeavor if you have intention see it through it may feel beyond you but remember no one can write this chronicle but you but you know the judge i could be wrong but it sounds like maybe an australian accent or a british accent of, of course i don't want to zoom but uh you can hear that in her singing and sort of how that affects the projection of her voice but it it's a very, she's got a lax tone to how she's projecting this and how she's presenting these lyrics. It feels almost laid back in a sense, but not lacking, uh, and not lacking projection, but perhaps intensity. But I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think uh, every vocalist gets to choose how they want to present their lyrics and the vibe they want to have towards their song. So I think it's an interesting composition choice to have this almost laid back positive tone to this song. Interesting. So I, I would have expected there to be a big drum section, perhaps a drum fill or a guitar intermission. We're leading into the next vocal segment straight off that uh, hype up. I would have expected there to be more of a majestic build up there, but that's okay. I think that's a nice sort of a mix up and a nice way to keep people guessing at what's coming next. And like, there's not, it's not a particularly like, shocking rhythm or progression we're getting from the song but it's still a fun uh, relaxing enjoyable experience where we're also getting this unique rhythm transition 
as opposed to rhythm breakdown or something to inter uh, something to interject. So I'm really liking how this composition is kind of going for something not too crazy, but still unique. And those drums sound beautiful. Nice. We got, and I'm liking how we're getting a bit more of inflection from her voice now. Her, her voice felt a little bit static towards the beginning, but now it feels like she's opening up a bit and adding some more inflection. And we're also getting these really nice horns that are matching her vocals and creating. Uh, sort of supplementing a bit of that intensity into the mix. Nice! Nice! Now we're getting some more projection and intensity from her voice, and now it sounds now it sounds like she's matching where uh, what the the con the message of the lyrics it feels like now she's this is her song now it, before it felt a little bit lax and I, I wasn't it felt a little uncomfortable for her but here she sounds comfortable uh, comfortable here she sounds like this is her song nice Listen, nice. Listen to how much more full that sounds. How much more she's projecting there. That sounds beautiful. I love this. Here you can feel like the horns are, the, now the horns are supporting her vocals where they are in the mix. No longer is, if before it felt like the horns were the intensity of the progression. Now the horns are a backing for her vocal. They are the instrumentation. They are the backing for her original song. I love this uh, growth and projection and that could be completely intentional. That could be an intentional progression throughout the song where she's bit more lax not really projecting too much and now we get that more oh, we get more of that intensity from her vocal i i'm loving it, this part nice Nice. That was beautiful. I, I, I hope. I, I, I kind of. I, I wish that we had gotten some of that energy and that projection in the introductory part of the song. But I understand why you would want that, uh, that growth throughout the progression of the song because now it feels much more energetic as we're going and as we're project, uh, progressing through the mix. But man, I, I love this part so much more. I feel so much happier listening to this because this is like a motivational song and it feels so much more motivational when we've got that energy, when we've got the intensity backing the vocalist. And you could just hear as she even goes up high and those high notes, that, those were beautiful. I loved that. That was I'm wonderful. And here you can you can hear at the way she's ending her notes there the the golden age you can hear she's lifting at the end golden age it, it feels like she's lifting up when she ends the sustain there not fading away and she feels it feels so much more supported when she's singing now Uh, I love these drums. Well, we forge ahead, keeping your mind here. There's no use being wearied on the throne. So the twigs, your struggles, just recall. There's always a time for resting and repose. Nice. And, oh, and you can hear there's, there just feels like there's some more energy in the song now. Because, you know, we're at 202. Let's just jump back just a bit and let's listen to how she sounded before. If you have intention, see it through. It may feel beyond you, but remember, no one can write this chronicle but you. 
like it's good. I really I, I like her vocal tone. It's very clean. It's very consistent. But when you hear how she's singing now. We've got a bit of vocal effects, so her voice is a little less clear in the mix, but you can hear there's more energy behind her vocals. Say if we go a little bit back. See, it, it just sounds it sounds more in line with what she's saying, the way she's singing it. It, it, it wasn't by no means was how she was singing earlier bad at all. All I'm saying is for the vibe of the song and the energy the song is giving, what, how she's singing right now is, is so much, it feels so much better to me than earlier. I'm loving how she's singing here. Nice. I'm really liking how her, her voice and how it sounds, but my only my, I I always hesitate to get negative to any amount on any of these songs. But I just want to say I think that the mix for the song could focus more on the vocal track because the vocal track almost feels like it's suppressed to some amount and i don't know if that's because there's some vocal effect on it or if it's just not as clear in the mix but it feels like there's some cloudiness almost over the vocal track and i feel like i feel like that's a simple a very simple eq fix i feel like there's just a slight bit of dabbling with the eq on the vocal tracks the her voice could pop out so much more and just embody the song so much better Nice. Nice. I really like how we're getting these chimes. And earlier, we and we're still we're getting these horns to match her vocals. Now we've got those chimes to match it. But I want I I want the vocal mix to just emphasize more of her vocals because because she's got a wonderful voice here. But I feel like. We're just not getting enough of it in the mix because obviously you know it's a very centered around her voice but it, it, that clarity to her voice it's just it feels a tad a tad bit lacking and i feel like there are some there's some uh composition elements where it's like you could say you could completely say it's all just per personal preference like you could just say that uh, the preference for me to have that vocal clarity there could be something that someone else might hate in this song. They might think it's perfect just the way it is, and that's perfectly okay. But for me personally, I would like that vocal track to be a little more clear, and I'd also like for a certain amount, a certain lines. So, for example, the take charge with those exclamations. I feel like those should be separate vocal tracks that are mixed differently, and perhaps even have some vocal effect or a little more higher in the mix, because. It, they should add a bit of separation from the your sustaining vocal line because you've got your sustaining chorus and then the take charge sounds like it should be like those those exclamation parts those quick syllable elements those should be explosions in the mix to add variation to add inflection but it feels like they're just kind of being sung consistently that's personally that's just my personal preference and by no means is this a bad song at all I'm absolutely loving this, but those are just some elements that I personally think could be changed. Beautiful high notes. Nice. I really like the acoustic instrumentation for this cover, or not this cover, this original song.
I like this. Nice. Nice. That was very clean. Nice. Yeah, and and I just want to point out that, that like catch it. That was sort of what I meant when. I was saying those short syllable exclamations should be a bit separated from the sustaining vocal line. Like, I think those elements like catch it or take charge, I feel like those should be a bit, uh, those should be a bit more incidental, a bit like a bigger event in the vocal track. But obviously she's doing amazing. So let's keep going. Nice. Those chimes again, nice. She has a wonderful high notes. I really love the instrumentation for this song. It's I, I have to say if the the acoustic instrumentation for the song was beautiful. I love the drums. I love the horns. Those chimes are really nice in the mix. And I, I really like her voice. I I think um, if I had to guess, this probably is... Uh, she's probably not like a, a singing like talent. Like That's probably not her main thing. Because it, she just sounds a little... I, and I don't mean this in a bad way at all. But she just sounds a little bit uncomfortable on the mic. But she does have a wonderful voice. And I think that with just a bit of uh, more attention to the mix and a bit more attention to like how to add vocal inflection and variation to these different parts, I think she could be a stellar vocalist. So yeah, thank you so much for recommending this to me. And this was a wonderful song. I'd love to see more from Rin Penrose. I'll definitely be checking out if she has any other music and if she releases any other music. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Aside from that, I will see you next time.